Hey, hey you, so-called artist girl. Are you talking to me? What do you want? Aren't you going to finish me? Nope. Why not? Too hard. I don't know what to do next. So you're just going to leave me like this half naked? Yep. You encourage people to step out and be creative and to pursue their God-given talent when you're not doing it yourself. Isn't that hypocritical? Plus, I'm cold with so little paint on. You talk too much. Shut up. Paint me now, you wench. Paint me now. Goodness gravy. Okay. Man, these paintings are getting so saucy. <laughs> Welcome to Art and the Word. I'm Nicole Georges Bennett, and I am so thrilled that you decided to make Art and the Word part of your day today. So, unlike me and this painting, God actually has a plan for your life. He already knows what is going to happen to you in the next minute, day, month, year, all the way through to your last day on earth. Your life was planned long before you were ever conceived or born, and you are part of His great plan for humanity. When we accept Jesus as our Savior, that is, accepting that He died on the cross for our sins and is risen from the dead, and we are saved by believing in Him as God, God gives us His Holy Spirit to live in our hearts, and the Holy Spirit begins the work of sanctification, which is a big word meaning that God begins to make us holy, set apart for the work He's called us to do. He is making us more like Jesus, changing our desires, helping us to reject sin, and helping us to want to do what is right, pure, and holy. In Philippians 1 verse 6 it reads, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion on the day of Jesus Christ. God is in the process of making us look more and more like Jesus, and one day he's going to bring it to completion in heaven. So how does that change the way you live today? God is at work in your life right now. Today, God is at work making you more into the image of Jesus. And so we pray, God, do it. Please do what it takes in our lives to make us be more like Jesus. And if you find yourself falling short of your goal to be more like Jesus, don't let your disappointment in your own behavior or failings weigh you down. We will still fail. We will still sin and do and say things that we're ashamed of but the Holy Spirit is still at work in us. We're not changing our nature and character by our own strength. So don't let disappointment and failures weigh you down. You're on a lifelong journey and you will face problems and pain, but also on a journey full of joy and peace because God is with you each step of the way and he is transforming you little by little to be more like Jesus. Thank you so much for watching Art and the Word today. I hope that this message really helps you through your day. And if you like, you can please do share this message with someone else who could use a word of encouragement as they are in this process of sanctification. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and always be creative for the kingdom. See you next time.